tell me, can you name something that is described by the following? Something that people fear, well, something that people name. Something that is said to be man-made, yet could also be born of nature. And something that are attached to two different types of feelings, and possibly more. Any luck? The answer is fire. Fire, a creation needed for, since the dawn of time, created by cavemen, but also by when lightning strikes. What else does fire mean? It can also mean burning passion or burning hatred, something that people fear that it, because it's so hot to the touch and that it also because it destroys. While at the same time, something that people need, a light at the end of the tunnel, and so much more. Over the last few months, personally, it's been something else, kind of of growing and getting away from the past and moving forward, a bit away, a bit, a little away from my ways. I know it's a bit of a tongue twister, of something I've been doing for the last few years. And something I hope to continue, or maybe not. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story The Tale of the Rapid Fire. End scene. Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome to possibly the very last rapid fire. Um, let's go ahead and do some extra sparkles. <laughs> I hope you all are excited for this one. Hope you guys like the intro. Um, I know I say possibly the last rapid fire because it, I'm running out of packs. Um, in case you guys are not aware of the rapid fire videos, I started these a few months ago. Um, and basically it was just me getting rid of loose packs. Um, but I've definitely toned down loose packs um, as far as what's in storage right now. I'm down to almost just two booster boxes, and it I'll, it's not even full packs at this point. It's mainly a dollar store collection. So I think it's going to possibly be the end of the rapid fire videos, unless I can find a new formula. I'm always tweaking it a little bit, tweaking the speed of openings and whatnot, tweaking what's inside. Um, but I want to at least have a nice good rapid fire for this uh, month because of Halloween. Spooky. Oh. Um, we're going to be opening up packs from Marble Rare Box as well as some extra packs as they are set off to the side. You saw them on the corner of your eye. Um, so let's go ahead and get things started. I went through my collection and selected packs that I thought would more suited towards Halloween. Ooh. Um, Ghost Pokemon, Dark Pokemon, Psychic Pokemon, and Fairy Pokemon. There might be some dragons here and there maybe um because of the team up packs um but i hope you guys are excited for this dogs gonna be barking in the background i can't get her to shut up um i'm home alone and she's not sleeping for me um gosh let's go ahead and get things started Ooh, sparkles sparkles um these are gonna get everywhere um let's go ahead push this candle off to the side Again, I hope you guys like that intro because I've been working on that for a while and I had a good intro and I, I ruined it by thinking I didn't ring the bell what I did this time. I'm ringing it extra just in case. Um, but yeah, because and I know this intro is getting kind of long, so please forgive me. Because this intro is indeed going long, I, I, I'm doing it because it might actually be it for the rapid fires. Um, because next two months is going to be like the end of sun and moon. Granted, I know it's going to be in English and other countries this month still. Or next month still. But Japan's going to start their uh, sword and shield set soon. So let's all get excited for that. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of neutral lighting. So we can actually see the cards that we are opening. 
as always, this is the rapid fire. This is where we just keep on opening in packs until we get something good. We take a moment and then we push it to the side and keep on going. Again, dog is barking in the background. Let us begin. Again, a lot of these are going to be dollar store packs. And I'm going to be opening up the wrapper on the side. Um, hope you guys are enjoying so far. Um, and then we're just going to pull away. If the lighting is too dark, I do have the other light. Which is not plugged in right now. So we're going to have to improvise. We got routes. We got a reverse holler swab blue. And we got a float storm. And again, the dollar store packs do not. Oh, no, that's not a dog, actually. That's a, a wolf. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. She's totally just a wolf with a sore throat. Ooh, stuffle. We all wanted to take a look at Stuffle. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on going. Keep on going. Again, a lot of these are dollar store packs. I am sorry for that. I legit only have mostly dollar store packs. There's a few extra packs that I have just chilling. Just chilling. And um, we're going to open those eventually. Garchomp. Or Gabite. Shield on. Let's go ahead and open this one. See? You don't want to see the back of my hand, so I have to do this this way. There's a lot more now, ooh, but maybe it's being turned on by a ghost, ooh. This is what I get for not recording at night. I should have done it, but I figured my family's not home. Ooh, we got an actual full pack of Unified Minds, so let me go ahead and take it off to the side real quick. And then we're gonna do the one, two, three, four. Um, but I thought like, hey, I'll be undisturbed. Not thinking, hey, the dog's gonna be awake. Ah, oh, shoot. I saw the code card. Um, oh, we'll give you code cards. I usually don't do this. Take that code card. Run. Get out of here. This is the spooky house. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. With a ghost. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and push this aside. Um, now, I already saw the green code of the back of the card. Um, so, we're not going to get anything exciting in this one. Oh, uh, look at that. Look at that. Drift loom. Reverse hollow type null it is not a rare, so it's not a rare. Not any point attached to it at all. Oh god, we're starting to pile up already. And everything's starting to get sparkles on it. My little pony tease. <laughs> all right. What do you guys think about while well, we're opening up packs to the side and, and talking while I open it? How you guys think about Galarian Ponyta? It is my favorite Galarian form and right now my favorite Pokemon kind of. Although I have to give props to Wooloo. Wooloo's adorable. Reverse Hollow. We don't care. We gotta keep on going. This is a full pack of Breakthrough with Mega Mewtwo. Also, at the time of this video, the size of the games was released. And it's going to be at 10 gigabytes about. Um, which is exciting. If, but not, if you're, you know, ah, oh, shoot. I'm so confused on this one. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go, go. Alright. I I accidentally, uh, um, is he hollow? Let me zoom in. He is not. This must be a really old pack. Because I know the old packs used to not, uh, oh gosh, this rapid fire sucks so far. Uh, the, the old packs, let me turn on the plate on the side. The old packs gave you like a white code curve, but it did not always mean a good pull. This started later on in XY sets um, concept. Um, so, you know. Oh gosh. Spooky passes are falling off. Ooh. Okay, so, you know, that's one thing to worry about. There we go, it's a little bit better. Sorry, candles. We will light you up again towards the end right now. We gotta hurry up. Don't worry, I'll make the goodies good. Uh, so yeah. Old XY packs, they did not always used to do the white code equals a hollow or more. Um, I love the change. Let's go ahead and do all, all as Aldino. She's saying hi. She's adorable, but she's not spooky. Ooh, Phantom Forces. I'm letting this pack go. <laughs> I've been keeping this in storage for about two years now. It is my last Phantom Forces pack with a Gengar on it. Um, 
so that should be exciting. Um, spooky code card. Ooh, have it. Have it. I didn't even zoom in on that to make sure. One, two, three for me. Thank you. All right, it's Shauna. Okay, I'm gonna slow down on this one a little bit because it's been a while since I've opened an, an XY pack that I like. <laughs> Um, energy with Leo, pumpkin boos, hey boo, golden toward the dial. Uh, oh, and a glass score. Glass score. I have a mean Gligar impression. Gligar. And that's my nerd moment of this second. Because there's going to be more. I've been saying boo a lot, so you know. It's all nerd moments here. Oh, let's keep on going, keep on going. These are the rapid fire videos are 15 minutes long. And we spend 5 minutes on an intro. So I'm thinking 20 minutes. Depends on the timing. Because we're not getting anything good in these Alice Rap Packs. That is the ooh, spooky Pennywise clown. Ooh, he's ghost fire. Ooh, he will fling his head at you. Ooh, ah. But he did not give us a good pack. We got a Cyberlie, but that's not what we wanted. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just grabbed two. Let's go ahead and open up this team up. Gengar, please give me something good to eat. I've been a good girl, I promise. Just because I promise I like Halloween and that these, just because the bells are on my neck are Christmas bells. Does not, oh gosh, this is taking forever. Just because, okay. Just because, uh, Mickey. Just because I have Christmas bells on me does not mean I like Christmas over Halloween. I promise I like you. Ooh. Hey, Abby, how's it going? This back sucks. Oh no. We got no good pulls at, our, at all. Oh. But I'm looking at like, I'm looking up and I have like six TCG products. There's a box behind me that has more. No. Dollar Store, why are you doing this to me? We got no good cards. This sucks. I mean, this is terrifying. Ooh. <laughs> I'm running out of booze here. I can't see any of the wondering. Oh. Nikrozama, please give us something good. I promise I've been a good girl this Halloween. I watched a couple of scary things. Creeped out on Netflix. There is another one that I can't remember the name of, but it is an anthology. It is made by the CW. I don't know why it's on Netflix. I never saw it on said CW. Um, the first episode was really creepy. It's, a, it's about a guy that likes babies. And that's all I'm going to say for that. And came worthy, benefit, moral, rule. Beware, I love you so much, beware. But you're not spooky. I need spooky cards. Beware, arg. Arg, oh my gosh. I was thinking, oh, I'm not going to have to open up this whole box of, of cards from, from the doll store, and blah, blah, blah. Oh, gosh. This is the problem. This is exactly why I shouldn't be on mute. I love you. Mew. Mew. Oh, it's green. It's green. No one cares about the green color cards. No one cares. Slazzle. No. I could have had a bad poke, but not the middle. Ugh. And I have to open up these Shining Legends. The Beware box is empty. Beware has fallen. Is this the end of Sun and Moon? Oh, gosh. And the code card's always going to be white on this one. I'm opening it up slowly. I am missing the secret rare. Mute. Oh, one, two, three, four. 
energy, 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 <laughs> super scoop, gold, let purloin, plus song fish, man, and physical, mana fee, no, mana fee, you're almost guaranteed, you're guaranteed, oh gosh, it's, it, it's all over, I got my spooky webs out, I picked nice packs, I got leftover sparkles for nothing, Beware! I didn't mean to throw you on the ground. Why? Why? Our last saving grace. Oh gosh. Are these three random blisters that I have extras of? Two unified minds. Again, I'm sorry for the camera. Walk. I'm a bad YouTuber. And if it's collide pack single, why do they have these at Walmart? Okay, we're gonna start with if it's collide. We're not gonna bother taking out the promo card and the coin yet. Just gonna toss them on the bed. I got stuff to throw away. Here is the Fates Collide pack. I remember, not Fates Collide, but the set after it. Steam Stage was just overpowered. If we can just get a Mega Audino, this pack would be worthwhile. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the co card. I'm not hopeful of my prospects. One, two, three. No four for me. Oh gosh. We got Whimsic, Scott though. She's a fairy. We got Dulja. We got the D Evolution Spray. We got Seal. We got Fanikin. We got Gatita. We got the Binacle. We got Meow. We got Reverse Hollow Diglet. And we got a Mime. That means well, that was a green card card. Because they started doing that during Fates Collide. <sighs> Onwards to the next Unified Mind. Again, Pokemon cards are an atrocious. This is what happens when we have sets of over 200 cards, almost 300 cards sometimes. We end up losing value. Let's go ahead and look at Spooky Web. Pikachu. This is what happens. This is, oh, this is a thin code card. So maybe this means this is something good in this. It's very thin. Like, my theory is that it's a, if it's a super thin code card, then it's got to be something good, right? Right? Please let it be something good. Let's go back to Spooky Lady. Maybe we need some Spooky Lady, though. Some red for filth. Alright. I should just do this the whole video. Oh, man. Poor decision making. We'll do that another time. Bigger off. Adino. Thunderous, Magnemite, Fledgling, Onyx. I got something back there. Fledgling, just over. Heracross. Ah, Psyduck. Slowpoke. Fart. Or is it Rainbow? Hang on. Do not turn off the camera, Amy. I don't know what it is. Let's see. Okay, it's just the regular for all. Full. Full art. We actually got something good at 18 minutes in almost. Not including the intro. Or including the intro. Look at that. Look at that card. Look at that. Look at them. They're the most... Un <laughs> it's funny that this is the poll we got. And they're like the most... While well, I open this up. They're like the most unthreatening Pokemon as far as looks. They're very dopey. They're not supposed to be scary. And we pulled the most non-scary poll on Halloween. It's like just getting like a Togepi. Like a random Togepi or like a Kofairi. Although Kofable is kind of scary sometimes. Oh, God. Again, my theory worked that if it's a super thin code card, which this one was not... You guys can have it. I already saw it's green. We got nothing on this one. It figures we use the spooky lady and we got the most non spooky. Anyways, yeah. Look at. I'm not even. Oh gosh. I, again, I am not a good PokeTuber. Let's go ahead and take a look. That was it. Look. Two dogs. Just two dogs. Just two dogs hanging out. And an Audino. We got lots of Audinos. This is perfect for my Audino collection. It's very small. But who cares? We have one more pack to open. I'm sorry this video sucks, but I hope the intro is good. I have one pack to open. Let's try to do this before 20 minutes is over. We have a Hidden Fates pack. I forgot this in my Hidden Fates video. I looked at the ETB later. I was like, oh, there's one still left. I don't feel like stockpiling it. This is the last of Sun and Moon. We're getting... We're I'm not even going to look at the code card. And... 
that then. So I'm not happy. We are legit almost done with Sun and Moon TCG. I am not ready. But you will see my feelings on it. I have something that I oh, that's three minutes. I have something that I've had in storage for since Sun and Moon has started basically. So you know, Sabrina's suggestion. Alright, past the time limit. Let's see what we got in this very last pack of the day. Glove Fairy. Gilbone. Oh, 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 oh. Look how beautiful she is. Let's go ahead and get the regular light on. Oh, yeah. You can you can totally see so much more. Look at that shimmer. I think, again, one of the most unthreatening looking Pokemon <laughs> is Altaria. Because look how fluffy. She's as fluffy as a cloud. And that's exactly who we got. Oh, gosh. Look how fluffy and adorable these Pokemon are on Halloween. <laughs> it's Christmas. Is it Christmas yet? I don't know. Thank you very much for watching, you guys. I don't know what's going on with future videos. If anyone is watching, I know my friends watch, but does anyone else watch? Um, but thank you to those that are watching. Thank you very much for watching. Even if you just sped up this video, I'm happy. Um, sorry, it wasn't super thrilling like I, I was expecting, but you know, that's Pokemon cards for you. Yay! Again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time when November hits. Christmas is a miss. It is. Ah!